G'day guys. Well, the Twins have had some alterations done to it, so I'm going to run you through exactly what I've done. One of the changes I've made is the mounting of the Twins to the uh, Celestron CGX mount. I used to have two uh, dovetail plates um, mounted on top of each other, but now I've changed that. Changed it, I've put a, a, a saddle in there instead, and this is a Prima Loose Lab and one of the largest ones that they make. And the reason for that is I'm going to try and support the bar a little bit more to reduce some of that sag um, that you get, especially in the longer bar that I was using. I was getting a lot more, a lot more flex. Um, so with the smaller bar and the uh, the uh, dovetail plate going a long way, being supported by the saddle, um, I should get a lot less flex in the system. Now the other changes that I've made is the mounting of my Prima Loose Lab uh, Eagle 4 computer. I now have that sitting up top. I used to have that sitting down the bottom. The reason I put this on top is that way I can get uh, a better GPS signal and better Wi-Fi um, connection throughout my system. Also, I wanted to tidy up some of the cables and if I ever wanted to shoot just the Von Rasser, I can now, I can just take it all out because it's all mounted to the top. The other thing I've, uh, I've made a change to is I've got an Echo now. Um, so the Echo is just gonna be uh, purely controlling the whole um, mm -hmm due system and temperature uh, setting side of things. And I've also mounted a uh, Prima Loose Lab um, dovetail plate to the, uh, the top of the second brasser as well, because uh, I do plan on hopefully put my, uh, my Nikon Z7 on top of here at some stage and uh, maybe try, uh, uh, try imaging once again. And I have tried that once before in one of my old videos. Didn't quite go to plan. But uh, I think um, that was the early stages of Nina that I wasn't too familiar with. Now things are going a lot better. I reckon I could uh, pull it off. Now the other addition I've made to the uh, the twins, and there's a few additions I've made, is uh, I've now included temperature probes um, to my focus motors, which you can see here. And there's another one poking out over there. Um, I might have to find a better ideal position for them, but for now, that will do. And the reason for this is so that way I can... Um, then adjust my focus automatically with any sort of temperature shifts and maintain a good focus because we all know focus was a little bit of uh, an issue when I was photographing Andromeda and I did get a little bit lazy. I was watching a movie at the time and wasn't focusing on what I should have been focusing on, which was the focus and how many times can I say focus in a sentence. Um, so we're going to eliminate that so I can watch more movies from we're imaging. The last sort of changes that I've made to the twins is the guide scope. The guide scope now sits on the bottom of the uh, dovetail plate, um, completely separate of everything else. And I've also uh, altered my um, dew shields. And also, I have my 3D printed diffraction uh, spike masks, um, cable holder masks, whatever you want to call them. But they're, uh, they're working really well and create pretty cool diffraction spikes. And like I was saying, the uh, dew, um, shield has been modified a little bit. I've cut into the, uh, the dew shield a bit more. So I've got a better fit over the whole whole system, as well as having the top bar as well. I needed to um, cut an extra uh, hole up there so I could slide on properly. And the, uh, the other reason I've also made these alterations and the reason it sits back a lot further now is because the RASs are a 400 millimeter focal length scope, meaning that the cone of light coming into them is quite wide. And having um, uh, dew shields, <laughs> I forgot the name of them, the dew shields um, extending further out means that you're going to create a, a vignette around your um, um, sensor and, and imaging um, optical path. So by having them a little bit shorter and push back a little bit further, I'm uh, trying not to block off that um, uh, that vignette that can be created because these um, G shields are, are basically made for your Schmidt Cassegrain eight inch telescopes or whatever size um, telescope eleven inch. And they've got a really long focal length, so the cone of light coming into those telescopes aren't as large as what it is with the Rasset. So pushing the uh, um, the G-Shield back a little bit further is just going to help with that uh, vignette. So 
Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video of the alterations and my twin raster setup. Um, hopefully, with all these alterations I've made, we've uh, going to improve the quality um, of the images that I capture, as well as the uh, pack down and setup um, of the system should be a little bit quicker too. All right, well, uh, don't forget to uh, give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video, comment if you've got any questions, and if you're new to this uh, channel and this is the first video you've seen and you like it, please subscribe or check out some of my other videos. All right, guys, that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy. See you.